Good for you. I'd just like to thank this bowl. Mm. Thank you to my cactus overlords. Yeah. Let's talk about sex, baby. Let's talk about so mac good. and cheese. Oh, remix. Pat. Hi, I'm Patrick and I'm online. Hi. Hi, folks. If you've been here before, welcome back. I love you. If you're here for the first time, hi, I love you. Um, there's something new. Can you guess what it is? Hi, this is Austin James. Um, he's a person. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. Hello. He, look, at, look at that. Always hi, guys. He only caters no, to guys. No, I said, oh, hi, damn it, I said that. Females. Hello. We hey, love females. you and we want you. Desperate. I want all the women. I'm desperate. This is my first collaboration, and uh, I thought it was it was pretty. I'm pretty excited to have it be Austin. He's uh, he's, uh, he's pretty good. Yeah, yeah he's all right. That's what my mom says. Milf, mother, I would like to friend. What are we here to do today, Austin? Hi. We are doing a challenge today. Oh, it's you a challenge. A... Yep. Good idea. You want to know what it's called? <laughs> this is the bowl of questions challenge. We what? finish each other's sand. Sand. <laughs> we finish. Oh no, no! no. I love not at that level. I just love the. Um, you can see that my socks don't match. So we're both gonna draw, and we both wrote different questions. They have no theme, no anything. They're just whatever. But since you're the guest. <laughs> Here, please. Oh, Draw wow. First. How kind of you. This is it. This I'm is not the one. Either. <clears throat> Would you say you're more traditional or more progressive? Progressive? Traditions for crap? Yeah. That got really exciting. I agree with that. Hold tradition on. is for crap. I think tradition, eh, who cares? Mm. Progressive because we need to move forward. Because tradition is, tradition's good for like Christmas. I like sure, that tradition. Sure. Uh, progressive means let's spend it in Mexico. Right! Christmas in Mexico next year. We're That's going. It, I gotta eat it. You wrote it. Ew. I didn't like it at all, folks. I did. Oh, I just love that feeling, though. Kind of, you know, like when you're in a store and there's like a bunch of necklaces and you touch the chains. Or when you go to the, the, the pet store ahead. and you're at the fish and you dip your hand in and grab the fish. That's what it feels like. What question do you hate to answer? I hate any question that is like, what's your favorite? Because it produces so much anxiety for me. But when someone says, what's your favorite music? What's your favorite food? Oh, I mean. Pizza. Okay. What's your, it's like talking stick. Talking stick, um, that's good. Same. <laughs> your turn. All right. Oh, celebrity crush and why? Ellen DeGeneres, because. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Um... Oh, you know who it is? You know who my celebrity crush is? Aretha Franklin. Google, Aretha Franklin, Kennedy Center Honors. I just, uh, you know, I pooped my pants a little bit. Just a little bit. Right now? Is that what that smell is? Yeah. Fondle, 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 fondle. If you could change one thing in your life, what would it be? Ooh. If I could change one thing in my life, it would be that I had more temperature appropriate clothing at all times. Um, if I could change one thing in my life, it would be carrots. Austin, your turn. Uh, uh, <laughs> Austin, uh, what are you afraid of most? Oh, rejection? You know what, drowning. That Drowning scares is the crap out of me. Or burning. My turn. What am I afraid of most? I'm most afraid of living a life that I'm unhappy with. I think that if I woke up one day and I realized I was unhappy, that would be my like worst fear and I'd be like, uh, well, you f***ed up, coach. <laughs> so that's that. Oh, my turn to talk. Oh, God. Oh, I could never have guessed that this would be Austin's. Woo! What is your perfect pizza? Pepperoni pizza. I don't care about anything else as long as it's pepperoni. Okay, go. I think I like spinach pizza. But I, you know, I also like Hawaiian. He likes mushroom pizza. Ch don't you dare! If you learned anything about me in this video, you're gonna know 
I love mothers and I hate mushrooms. All right. And that's me. Okay. Uh, shake it on up, shake it on up. Yeah, yeah get, get ready. They're very chilly in there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Mm. Ooh, nice. Three words to describe yourself. Oh, I love this question. Chair, shoe, foot. <laughs> Just get Weird, dork. I keep thinking shoe. I <laughs> what are the three words to describe myself? Uh, I would say loud. Decisive. I like to make decisions. Confident. Take that! <laughs> oh, I chose one of my own. Oh, well this is a twist. Have you ever eaten a crayon or glue? And what is the strangest thing you've eaten? I've never eaten crayon or glue. The strangest thing I've eaten is probably a lot of paper. And like, that's, that's like real. Like, like <laughs> high school, I just, I got hungry. Okay, I have never eaten a crayon or glue. What is the strangest thing I have eaten? I'm gonna mo I'm gonna sort of modify this question, but one time I opened up a can of Squirt and I drank it, and there was a McDonald's French fry in it. <sighs> Favorite four-legged creature and why? Oh, I love this Lion. Question. Lion. No. Yes. People no, that. Growlithe. <sighs> or Arcanine, but you know, like it's like the same thing. I like a, a Growlithe, but then you know it evolves, so um, just gotta get that fire stone. Favorite four-legged creature and why? I'm gonna go with elephant. And do you want to know why? I saw a video today of an elephant painting a picture of a tree. And uh, I gotta tell you, changed my life. What do you think Victoria's Secret is? Oh, okay. Heroin. Really? I feel different. I think Victoria is a man. <gasps> Victoria's Secret is that her name isn't Victoria. Ah, uh, Victor. Victoria's name is actually Jennifer, but that didn't sound as good. Jennifer's Secret? Sounds like the 90s to me. Answered. What superpower would you have? I think the ability to read people's minds is pretty cool. If I could have one superpower, it would be the same thing. But I would take it to the next level and I would be able to control people's minds as well. <gasps> and input things into their mind and then boom. I what would the you world. what would you control what would you want them to do? Dance. Everybody dance now, Brown. You made me do that. All right. Weirdest nickname you have. The weirdest nickname I was ever given is P. Dicky. That's my Snapchat username. Add me. Think of it like P for penis, Dick for Dicky, and then Y for why is it that? Weirdest nickname you have. I wouldn't say it's the weirdest one, or I don't even think it's weird, but my friends call me Nips. Short for nipples because one time I came in and it was just so cold at work that I was nipping and my friend asked me, did you get your nipples pierced? And I was like, no. And they're like, well, your nipples are really hard. And I said, okay. And then she's like, I'm gonna call you nips. I was called tiny nips once. Oh. Not my proudest moment. <laughs> God, you poor kid. My time. What do you do when you're nervous? I talk really loud. <laughs> I just get very very loud. I'm just like, oh, oh, what are you, <laughs> what are you kidding? Oh, you're out and out of you, ay, 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 you, this guy. Uh, that's what I do. So, <laughs> if you ever meet me, that's probably what's gonna happen. When I'm nervous, I get gassy. This is the last question in the bowl. Got it. Wow. Oh, oh I got it out of the bowl. <laughs> what would you do if you could be invisible for a day? I would just take a vacation somewhere. Just hop on a plane for free because as long as there's a seat, just sit in it. I'd go anywhere. What would I do if I could be invisible for a day? Either go into people you know or like famous people or something and just see how they are when they think nobody's looking. When no one's looking at me, oh, I am so weird. That's creepy. We did it! Dun, 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 dun. We traveled through the bowl and read all the papers. We did it. We did, did it! it. Woo. I think this is fun. I learned a lot about you. Mm -hmm. I think everyone learned a lot about everyone. How's that, how's that tasting? Well, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. A thumb. Big thumbs up. Hey, please go subscribe to Austin's channel, obviously. I mean, he's, uh, he's pretty funny. All that information, all of his social media, all of my social media will be down below. Check it out. And you can go to at empty white bowl and you'll find all of his great, amazing pictures and follow him. He has lots of adventures. He's a very adventurous bowl. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you later. Bye.